fighting terrorists that are super tiny. Here's your look at the Diamond Select G.I. Joe Real American Hero Free Comic Book Day 2021 Mini Mates box set. Yo, Joe! Who fights for freedom wherever there's trouble? The all-new G.I. Joe Mini Mates line. Based on the popular Real American Hero looks, the first box set includes Snake Eyes, Scarlet, Storm Shadow, and Cobra Commander, and is exclusively available to retailers participating in Free Comic Book Day 2021. Each 2-inch Mini Mate figure features 14 points of articulation and includes interchangeable parts and accessories, all come packaged in a full-color blister card designed by Barry Bradfield. Figure before we start fighting for freedom, how about the first thing we do is figure out how tall the Mini Mates stand. And just before I do that, I'd also like to thank the folks over at Diamond Select that provided this sample of the free comic book day box set of four Mini Mates that we're going to be checking out in this video. I'm going to go ahead and just measure Scarlet because they're roughly the same size to one another. Scarlet stands at two and a quarter inches in height or almost six centimeters tall. Each Mini Mate comes included with its own clear stand as well as unique accessories. Although in the cases, though, of Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow, I think you could probably swap seize some of those around. We'll talk more about that in a second. Starting first with Scarlet. She comes included, first of all, with a little tiny pistol. Tiny probably would be the best way to describe it. All the accessories are going to be super microscopic. And yet for their size, even though they're only molded in just the one coloring of plastic, they are really nice little small companion accessories that can go along with each of the Mini Mates. Now, this can fit into our existing hands. I mean, in all the cases, well, most of the cases, the Mini Mates hold their accessories. Storm Shadow has one problem with holding his arrows, but in all the other cases, yeah, you can easily put the accessory into, their, into her hand. Or what you can also do in the case of the pistol, just move Scarlet's arm out of the way for a second. Hold on, hold on, Scarlet. We're gonna, you can also take the pistol and slide it, holster it down the side of her leg. Now, it does cause not so many issues with her rotating her waist, but when it comes to certainly moving her legs out, the fact that she does have the pistol now holstered onto the side is going to cause a little bit of problems with getting her legs to split like this. The other accessory she comes included with, of course, is her crossbow. It's be so strange, really, for Scarlet not to come included with her crossbow. But this, while it doesn't fit onto the figure's body at all, it at least does clip into her hand. And that's probably going to be the way I'm going to display the figure. As I said, the figure does also come included with a clear stand. All of the figures come included with a clear stand. I'm glad to see Mini Mates still continue to include stands. It certainly helps too if you want to put them in dynamic poses other than just having them standing straight like this. And in all the cases, you just simply take the bottom of it and clip the peg into the bottom or underside of the Mini Mates foot. Just like that. Getting a closer look though at Scarlet, I'm just going to take her off her display stand for the time being. We're going to remove her crossbow just because I feel like it's going to get... You know what? Let's also take the pistol off too because eventually I'm going to look at the articulation on the figure. Just put that all to the side. Now with all the cases here of the Mini Mates that we're going to be looking at, all four of them are based on their original real American hero design, which I'm all for for myself. I mean, I love the look of the classic 80s cartoon style G.I. Joes. And Scarlet does certainly look like her 80s counterpart, except for the fact, of course, with all the cases, the Mini Mates are missing their noses. She has no nose. I got your nose. Somebody's stolen poor Scarlet's nose. She does have the long red pigtail or long hair with pigtail. And in all the cases, yeah, because these parts are swappable, you can take the hair off of Scarlet. Just remove it like that. And she does now look sort of either like Shanae O'Connor or she looks like the girl from Star Trek The Motion Picture. Feature, feature. I'm sure I made that joke sometime before when looking at a mini mate. Somebody will probably find that video and point that out to me. But yeah, you just simply take the hair and just. There's a hole on the top, so you, it's very easy just to take the hair and fit that down into that hole. And pretty looking scarlet, though. Again, the classic colors used are the mustard yellow, which carries over also to her gloves and her boots down below. Uh, she does also, in all the cases too, they panel line the body. Now, in the case of like female mini mates, they also kind of sculpt in or draw in kind of like the f the female form, like how it kind of curves in. It's still going to be a blockier body. All the mini mates are going to use pretty much the same bodies across the board. But again, like the way they do the panel lining just kind of gives her that look, kind of just that hourglass figure. Again, really nice details on the face, the rest of the body as well. 
the articulation on all these figures are going to be the same anyways. So we'll start first with Scarlet. I don't know if I'm probably going to do articulation on all the four figures because, again, it's going to be carried over again and again and again. But anyways, the head are on ball joints. So you can easily move the head up, down, back, and forth. You can bring the arms out also with a similar ball joint. Allows not for a full 90 degree angle bend, but at the very least you can bend these arms out at 45s. You can also take the arms, rotate them all the way around. The figures have hinges in their elbows, swivels in their hands, swivels in their ways. Ball joint legs, which you can bring the legs out, almost like somewhat, somewhat splits on the legs. Bring the legs forward, you can bring the legs back, bend at the knee, and you can rotate also the lower boots. Nice looking figure, Scarlet. Let's go ahead and get her actually on her display stand. Probably just be a lot easier. There we go. And we'll just put the figure down. Moving on over now to Snake Eyes, one of my personal favorites from this set. It's sort of like Snake Eyes version 2. It's not Snake Eyes with the goggles, it's Snake Eyes with the visor. I prefer myself Snake Eyes with the visor. Which way do you like Snake Eyes, goggles or visor? Let me know down below in the comments section, but I'm all for visor. He doesn't come included with timber, but he certainly comes with a ton of accessories. Now again, like these accessories, I feel like you can swap around with Storm Shadow, although some of these fit a little bit better with snakes here. Like for example, this particular sword. I don't know if you can actually see it or not, but they've actually sculpted the Arashikagi logo there right at the top of the blade, just underneath the, the actual guard of the hilt. See that? They haven't painted it in, but again, like all of these have just sculpted in in the plastic. Now why I say these, this one is specifically for Snake Eyes is if you look on the back here, he has a holstered section that actually can house the sword. This one doesn't fit onto the back of Storm Shadow. You'll see what I mean in a second. If you take the sword, you kind of have to get it around this little area of the blade, but once it gets past that point, a little bit of persuading. There you go. You can slide the sword all the way down to the back of the figure's body and you can store there as well. The figure also comes in clue with a small pistol. And again, in all the cases, you can take then the accessories and clamp them into their hands. I love the fact that they use these C clamp hands. So easy to pop in accessories and swap them out. Or if you want to as well. Located again, similar to Scarlet, there's a little holster on the side of Snake Eyes' legs. And you can simply just take then the pistol and just feed it down the side of his leg. See that? It's still gonna cause problems when it comes to moving at least this leg out, but at least there's a place to store the accessory that isn't gonna be in his hand. He also has one other holster on the side of his leg, and that's actually for a small little hunting knife. A little small and stumpy, but it would certainly get the job done. You can take that and you can slide and holster it on the other side, kind of just move things out of the way as you're doing it. This one's a little harder to gain access to. Again, you just slide it down the holster, and Snake Eyes can hold all of his accessories. Or again, like you can put them in his hand as well. Nice detailing done on Snake Eyes. Now, because he is a black costumed character, instead of panel lining it in black, they've actually panel lined it in blue, which adds a nice little highlight tone to the figure. The straps, as well as the belt, the holsters on the side are all done in molded black plastic. It does look really nice against the backdrop of the black. Spin it around to the back, you can see what it looks like. Neat looking snake eyes. No, the visor isn't something that can lift up nor retract or kind of separate away, away from his face like that Snake Eyes Origins movie. Didn't care for that movie at all. For the articulation on Snake Eyes, exactly the same as Scarlet, so we're not going to really touch base too much on that. But yeah, all the same articulation on the figure. Love the fact he's got all the little extra pockets, the little bandolier of grenades there on the front of his torso, smaller double belt, and again, holsters galore on this guy. So there's Snake Eyes. Mine is Timber, of course, but maybe that's not to say that down the road they can't release the Snake Eyes with Timber. I don't know if we have actually got ourselves a Mini Mate version of an animal before, but I think that would be interesting to see what they could do with like a Timber. Moving on now to Storm Shadow. And again, I love the detail on this guy. Still based on the original 80s Real American Heroes series, Storm Shadow. Love the look on his face. He, he seems so very ticked off at everything right now. He has panel lining, but they've also gone in there and darkened some colors around his mask, so it's not all just the white. Now, his accessories, he comes included with a sword. The sword doesn't fit to the back. This is actually a quiver to hold his arrows. If you try to take, like, the sword, for example, whether it be this one or it be the one that comes included with snake eyes, it's not going to fit. There's no opening down below here because it has to house the arrows. But I guess if you wanted to, you could put the sword on the back of his torso, even though really it doesn't technically belong there. You could also navigate the sword, these open slots to the side, 
like that. And you can also take the swords that way, which I guess you could kind of try to do with snake eyes too. Although I don't think it works as well with this sword. Let's just try that again here. I had issues before getting it around. It seems such, yeah, it's really, really tight quarters. I wouldn't really try to fight that for the risk that it may, it may break that loop. But at least you can get one of them stored back there for the time being. Figure also comes included also with another knife, a slightly smaller knife. It's made of softer plastic in all the cases of the accessories that come included with it. And again, you can fit that onto the back as well. It has sort of a small sectioned blade or small bladed a knife. And then he also has a longer sword. So that's nice. I think that's cool that they, they would have done that. The figure also comes included with a bow and arrow. Starting first with the bow, softer plastic. It's all molded here in white. Now to fit this around his hand, I find it holds the best if you put it sideways. And it's probably one of the reasons why they do it like this as well. If you put it sideways, you can actually make it look like he's actually using the bow and arrow. I know right now it doesn't look like he's firing much of anything, but the figure also comes in clue with a couple of arrows, three actual arrows that can either house to the back of the quiver like that, or you can also then take the arrows. And there's a little clip here down further below here on the, on the bow. And that just clips probably not a little, it would have been so much easier. I think to do it onto the bow first, clip it in place. And be careful that you're not going to drop it. Oh, there. I, see, I just knew I just gonna, was going to just drop that. Let's go ahead and take the arrow once again. And it just clips into... You sort of have to do this in different steps. Yeah, just like that. Be careful. You're not going to drop anything in the process. The only thing I would say, though, about the arrows is the back feather area isn't large enough to fit inside the grip of his hands. Does that make sense what I just said? Okay, hold on a second. Take the bow out of his hand. See, if you take the feather portion, if they had made it just a little bit bigger, see what I mean? It'd be able to hold in his hand a little bit better. But yeah, you get three arrows. All of them are done exactly the same way. Softer plastic, and you can see that they painted the tip off in silver. And again, you can take then all the three arrows. Whew, that was close. I almost thought I was going to lose one of them. But yeah, you can fit all three of them in there. Very loose, though. I mean, tipping it over, you'd have the arrows falling out and easily, easily lost. But let's just dump those out, put those to the side. The figure also comes included again with the same clear display stand. Fancy that. Uh, getting again a closer look at the figure. I really like the quiver on the back. A little on the thick, bigger side, because I don't think he needed that much for the hold the arrows. And again, the arrows, as you saw already, fall out very easily on the back of it. But nice detail done on Storm Shadow. We're not going to really cover off on the articulation simply just because we have already done that now fully with Scarlet, partially with Snake Eyes. It might even just revisit it again when we get to Cobra Commander. He's got a couple of little shurikens tucked into a sashed belt. Really nice detail for a figure that's all things considered an all-white costumed character. Let's go ahead and get him on his display stand. And then we can move on to Cobra Commander. Hail Cobra Commander. The great snake rules forever. You can see in this case, Cobra Commander does have himself a cape. Don't worry, you can remove it. But in a second, we'll do that in a second. First thing we'll have a look at is his little blaster. I like the fact that the blaster is a classic design one that came included with the original Real American Hero Cobra Commander from the 80s. Replicated nicely. Smaller, yes. Done in silver here. And that can fit into either one of his hands, working the same way as all the other mini mates we looked at already. And that just clips into his hand. Clips into it. Or you can also slide it down into his hand too. You don't have to try to clip it from the front. There isn't a holster or anything on the side of the figure's legs, anywhere other, any other place where you can store it. It would have been fun, actually, if they had put a clip on the back, because I think the original Cobra Commander, wasn't it something that you could clip the blaster on the back of his torso? But like I said, the figure does have a cape. You can remove the cape if you want to. You can also remove the, the helmet from his dome as well. Go ahead and just take... Let's see if we can put that all back on first. Take the head sculpt off, and if you wanted to, if you don't want him wearing his ceremonial cape, you can take that off. I think they've done a fantastic job of, of painting the inside of his cape, a nice, very nice crimson red. But yeah, if you wanted to leave it off and more having a somewhat OG looking Cobra Commander, although his bandolier sash there, the belt on the front, I don't think was with there in the original one. But yeah, if you want just more classic looking Cobra Commander, there's that option as well. Still no clip or anything on the back to hold his pistol. So the only other option is to really have him holding the pistol in his hands. But very nice, very rich color blue that they've used here. The helmet is, as you can see, he's got the little stripe done on the top there. And again, he retains all the same articulation as all the other mini mates we've already looked at. I like that little shimmer reflection that they've got on the front of his helmet. That's nice too, that on the front of his visor. Uh, articulation on Cobra Commander is going to be the exact same. 
Nice panel lining done to the front of his jacket as well. In this case, like Snake Eyes, you can see that instead of using the black, they've used the more off coloring of the blue. Nicely done and used here in the boots and the, as well as the gloves. We'll quickly look at the articulation, but it's going to be exactly the same. Ball joint in the head, ball joint shoulders, rotate all the way around. Again, hinging in the elbows, rotation in the hands, rotation in the waist, legs split forward and back, bend at the knees, and again, rotation in the boots. I think my favorite actually from this set is probably either Scarlet or Cobra Commander. I think all of them turned out really nicely. Again, if you like the idea of the real American hero designs of characters, the way that they looked again from the original 80s cartoon, these are great looking mini mates. Now, again, this was available in comic book stores during real uh, during free comic book day. If you guys are interested to pick these ones up, they're also available online too. And again, if you are a big fan of Minimates, something that I don't nearly look at enough here on this channel. I used to look at Minimates all the time. And I don't know why I really stopped doing it, because I absolutely love Minimates. Super small, stylized little characters, tons of posability, and tons of accessories. And again, if you're a big fan of the original 80s G.I. Joe cartoon, these are ones that you may want to even pick up. Diamond does spoil us fans during Free Comic Book Day. It's one of the few companies releasing exclusive figures and statues to stores during that time. It becomes really exciting to go to your local comic book store early, not only to get free dibs on a free stack of issues, but it also means you can check out the offering from Diamond for that year. Now, their offerings for last year's free comic book day, August 2021, they did release the G.I. Joe Real American Hero series Mini Mates. The set included Storm, Shadow, Scarlet, Cobra Commander, and Snake Eyes. Now, if you did go to your local comic book store during that time, and unfortunately they sold out of this set, I don't know what kind of quantities were available for the stores at that time, don't worry. I checked around at a couple of different online sites, and it seems like stock is still available if you guys wanted to pick this one up and add it to your collection. Now, I think this is also going to be a precursor to a future line of G.I. Joe Minimates. Why I say that, if you check online, they've already advertised a pre-order of June 2022 of a G.I. Joe Minimates Series 1 carded box set, which will contain four Minimates. Two of the Minimates already are part of this set, the Snake Eyes and Scarlet. Although I think the Snake Eyes has a darker gray visor, and it seems like Scarlet has more vibrant colors in her hair and her costume. Along with the Snake Eyes and Scarlet, though, we are going to be getting ourselves a Duke and Roadblock, again, in that original Real American Hero color scheme and costuming. Really excited for that set. Like I said, that's going to be, right now, it's a pre-order of many online sites for June 2022, and the price point's of around $40 for four Minimates. Again, I really hope for the vast amount of characters that make up both G.I. Joe and Cobra that Diamond sees potential for a future run with the G.I. Joe Minimates. Being a big fan of the original G.I. Joe Real American Hero series from the 80s and being a big fan of Minimates, I think it's a happy merit to have the two come together. And again, a big thank you to the folks over at Diamond Select that provided in this review the sample of their free, free comic book day, although the, this set is obviously not free, but the free comic book day from 2021. Today, we were having a look at the G.I. Joe Real American Hero series Mini Mates box set. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments section. And if you are new to this channel, please and thank you asking in advance. If you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. If you enjoying the content, make sure you hit that bell notification. And if you are enjoying the content, please and thank you. Make sure you're coming back to the channel on a regular basis as there's always new videos popping up. Going to be looking at other Diamond Select stuff coming your way. So make sure, yes keeping peepers peeled at all times. As always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.